Technology is progressing so rapidly these days. The future really is today. Our phones are smarter than last year's PCs, and cars can actually parallel park on their own. And tonight, John Coleman is excited about another breakthrough on the horizon, and he joins us now with a special report. John? Well, Alan and Sandra, remember this word, graphene. The word is so new, the spell check in your computer doesn't know it yet. But graphene. It's going to be the breakthrough new product of the first half of the 21st century. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Yes, sir. Are you listening? Yes, sir, you. Yeah. Plastics. Exactly, how do you mean? There's a great future in plastics. Think about it. That was 1967 when the movie The Graduate named plastic as the product of the future. And wow, was that on target. While plastic had been invented a century before, modern industrialized plastics were just sweeping the market. And now, almost everything around us is made from some form of plastic. From the case of your TV set, to your phone case, to much of your car, plastic is a key element of our industrialized life. And now, comes graphene, called by some simply G. G is the first 2D crystal ever known to us, the thinnest object ever obtained, and also the lightest one. G is the world's strongest material, harder than diamond and about 300 times stronger than steel. G conducts electricity much better than copper. G is a transparent material. G is bendable and can take any form you want. Wow, this is much better stuff than plastic. It will be used to project pictures and be our less than paper thick computer touchscreens with the entire computer built into it. It will be used in medicine to do procedures that we simply can't do today. And get this, it's now being developed by Lockheed Martin, a filter for saltwater desalination from ocean salt water to drinking water at a cost of about 1% of the current cost. Graphene will make drinkable ocean water far, far cheaper than importing water from the mountains. It seems that there is a real possibility this is the amazing new basic material to be used for just about everything in our daily lives within 30 years. Graphene is made of pure carbon that is arranged in a regular hexagonal pattern similar to graphite. It was first developed in 1962. The term graphene first appeared in 1987. The Nobel Prize in Physics for 2010 was awarded to two scientists at the University of Manchester for, quote, groundbreaking experiments regarding the two-dimensional material graphene, unquote. This is a nanotechnology material with its single atom units so tiny they can only be distinguished under a powerful microscope. This team of physicists at Aachen University are celebrating because they've received a huge cash award from the European Union to further the studies there of graphene. One of the scientists, Marcus Morgenstern, tells about graphene. It's a better conductor of electrical current than silicon, and its thermal conductivity is better than that of copper. Graphene is transparent because it's just one atom thick. It absorbs a little light, but basically you can look through it. It's also extremely flexible. That means you can bend it like rubber, but if you try to pull on it, it's like a diamond. So it's very hard and at the same time very flexible. No other material that we know of has this combination of characteristics. Here is a layer of graphene. It's applied to a sheet of clear plastic. Now imagine that that sheet can become a laptop computer and it can then be folded into a cell phone or even a headset. Or all of this technology could be worn as a bracelet. Graphene can be used to make computer chips that are 10 times faster than today's chips made of silicon. Graphene can be used to transmit huge volumes of data around the world at blinding speeds. It's fascinating how an idea born of scientific curiosity has already given rise to such an amazing array of possible applications, so many and such different applications. I've never seen anything like it. To me, the most amazing thing is that graphene is made from carbon, one of the cheapest, most abundant elements on Earth. 
and I can hardly wait for it to become a daily reality. Alan and Sandra? Same here, John. All I can say is bring it on. Thanks a lot. <laughs>